Hello, I'm Dr. Abstract, and I'd just like to take you through the Zim template. We made a few changes, and some of you may have liked the old template. We're not sure, but we want to make sure that you can see how to get back to the old template, in a sense. <laughs> so the template's found at zimjazz.com in the code page. Here we have it. And, well, first of all, you can copy the new template here. And we'll go over the new template again. But there is the older template right here with all of this stuff as well. So why don't we bring these two into some code and we'll we'll take a look at it. Okay, I'll go back to the newer one and hit copy. And we'll drop this down. F11, whoop. And paste it. So this is the new template right here. And let's just go over that. First of all, it's type module and we're importing from the one zim file right here and every time we have a new version we're going to be up updating this so we're at zero one at the moment then we have new frame and note that we're not storing the frame in a variable uh, instead we're we're passing in this new callback right here the ready callback this used to be assets and then path but now assets and path come after the ready like so okay um, so we'll leave it at that anyway uh, here's the function ready being called we just like the looks of that a little bit better than our previous template this is a bit simpler looking for especially for kids and people who haven't coded before uh, we've also added a, an automatic stage dot update at the end there so you don't need that anymore and this is it we're, we're given the f s W and H variables that stand for the frame, the stage, the width, and the height. So that might be one thing uh, that you're worried about is that if you see things like this in your code, F dot on whatever, then you're sort of looking at this F and that's it, where maybe you like frame. And inside that on, say this is a key down, key down, we have an arrow function, and you might want to do a stage.update. Currently, we would uh, s.update. So you would be looking at f.on and s.update after we do something in here, blah, 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 blah. So that might take some getting used to. And we're still not sure if it's exactly the right answer because uh, it's easier, for sure. And... I've been now using it for a little while, and I am using it, and I do like it. But it makes your code just a little bit less readable by people who may not know what's going on, and they just keep on seeing this stuff. Um, we've clearly stated that we have those things up here, but uh, it may be that you know your your coding background. You sort of say, no, no, I don't want that. I want the frame again. So you don't have to do this. You don't have to go. Well, let's let's paste the old one in, shall we? So uh, we'll make a, a duplicate this, duplicate, and we'll call it template2. And we'll get rid of that template2 stuff. And then we will come back here, go to the older one, and copy the older one. So here's the older one where we actually stored the frame in a variable here. And then we got the stage from the frame.stage. And this will still work as well. This this completely still works as is. So uh, and we don't need the stage dot update anymore. That's one change. But note we haven't put in a ready, but that's okay because we're capturing the ready event and we can still do that. All right. But alternatively, we could get the same variables without doing all this stuff. And let me show you how. We can capture in the ready, the first parameter that the ready function is given is the frame. So if we want, we can store it in a full word frame and we can store this in a full word stage and we can store this in a, a full word stage width and stage height like that. And there you go. Once you do that, you are now free to use frame here or F. Frame there and stage here. And any stage width and stage height is how we had it before uh, with stage W and stage H. So that means you could copy some old old code 
uh, from like an old game we made or something that used all these guys, we could just copy that code right into here and all that would work because we've now, we're now using those variables. This is also how you handle multiple frames. So we can make a second frame. Uh, if we were making a second frame, brrr, up, in here, we can just call ready to, ready to, and then we can collect our local frame stage, stage width and stage height in, in here, if we want. Because in here, the F, S, W, and H would refer to the first frame made. So, uh, or we could call this F, F2, S2, W2. If we called this, um, if we called this F and stage and W and H, that would be fine. Now these are all in here because we've overwritten in a sense the global variables with local variables that now mean these things. Okay, so if you want to continue using F, S, W, and H, but in here, and you already have some in there, then this allows us to work in both places with F, S, W, and H, if so desired. But these ones referring to this frame and stage and stage width and stage height, and, and these ones referring to the second frames stage. Okay, so that's all that would be needed to have two frames uh, or more, etc. All right, so that's the trick there. If you do that, you're still welcome to use F, but uh, why did you bother putting that stuff in there? <laughs> okay, and S as well. You can still use that because those are globally set already. And that is a bit of summary of the current template in Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. Hopefully that answers any questions and gives you some tips on how you can uh, still continue to use frame stage stage width stage height if you need if you if you want to uh, you're welcome as well to come to slack zimjs.com slash slack zimjs.com slash discord and let us know which one you're using um, are you you know we could adjust the template if it turns out that you know we get convinced that we still want these full words here we might change the template and just use those and get rid of this message and just don't use those. I mean, that's a possibility. That's still a pretty simple looking, um, pretty still still a simple looking template. Uh, we, at this point, we would have to use frame here. And stage here, stage there. Okay, anyway, bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good day or night. Uh, we'll catch you later. This is Dr. Abstract from Zim at zimjs.com right here. Boop. Cheers. <laughs>